Hello traders, my name is Tomasz Wiśniewski, I'm a chief analyst at Alpar Research and Analysis and this is Daily Analytica Report. Uh, a lot uh, of things uh, is going on, uh, a lot is going on right now on the markets. Uh, we have full risk of mode on the market, mostly uh, due to the tariffs. Uh, tariffs, a 5% tariff on all goods coming into the United States from Mexico and this is from Donald Trump. It uh, will be imposed um, to force uh, Mexico to stop illegal immigration and uh, this is a new thing, an old trade war because uh, we had a dispute between US and uh, Canada and Mexico but everybody thought, well, most of the people thought that everything is sorted out, uh, but apparently not. So we had a previous agreement, uh, but uh, we have a new thing in this agreement, so 5% tariffs on all goods coming from Mexico. Obviously it's not confirmed yet, it's not a final option, but definitely something to worry about in terms of the global uh, trade. So this time we're not uh, having a trade argument between uh, China or, or US but between US and Mexico. About China you know about rare uh, earth elements, uh, metals. Uh, China is uh, thinking about limiting export to United States and those rare earth metals are important in many many industries. And that's another step in the, uh, in the trade wars. So uh, China said to have a plan ready to limit rare earth uh, sales to the US if necessary. And that's the latest information. So you can see we have a lot of uh, new developments in the trade wars. And uh, uh, mm, it's all happening in the last day of the, of the month. And the effect of those can be seen on the charts with the risk of situation so aversion to the risk let me show you uh, the charts and we'll start with the uh, most common instrument when we talk about risk aversion or uh, risk uh, risk acceptation uh, which is uh, gold gold is a safe haven asset and when there is a, a risk off mode and uh, gold is gaining usually when there is a risk on mode so traders are looking for risk mostly they are abandoning gold so what is happening uh, here is uh, gold was recently in a correction is still in a well maybe it was in a correction till ye yesterday and uh, this correction was a wedge pattern this is a wedge pattern but uh, wedge managed to finish on a on an uptrend line and on 38.2 Fibonacci the price created a triple bottom formation and then went higher. Uh, today gold is breaking uh, the dynamic resistance created by those two downtrend lines. Uh, price closing a day so we are attempting to break out uh, to break those uh, lines uh, but for the definite signal we need to see the price closing a day above those two black lines as long as we are below uh, we don't have any uh, buy signal yet we need to wait for the breakout why you need to wait for the breakout uh, you will be able to see on, on crude crude is going down and why we need to wait for the breakout because uh, we said that there is a double bottom formation but the buy signal will be triggered only after the breakout of the neckline of this formation we touched this neckline but the price did not break it the price went lower so you can see you always need to wait for the breakout uh, it's a common practice and uh, really you will be doing much better when you will wait for the breakout so what is happening on crude oil crude was in a correction that was also a wedge as you can see uh, here on the on gold but the thing is that we already broke the lower line of the wedge which shows us that the correction is over the bearish momentum is strong and the sell signal is on instead of a trend uh, continuation 
Also, buyers wasted the chance for a reversal. The chance came from the double bottom formation here, one, two. And uh, instead of breaking the neckline, as we said, the price went lower. That was a beautiful rejection here. Let me get that closer. Beautiful shooting star, excellent sell signal. Unfortunately, I didn't use this opportunity to go short, but it was it, it was a beauty. And uh, we broke the horizontal support on $58 per barrel. That is definite sell signal. And the future for oil does not look good. S&P 500 and other instrument where you can see the risk off mode. Uh, when there is a risk on mode, so traders are looking for risk, seeking risk, uh, S&P 500 is going higher when traders are avoiding the risk, S&P uh, 500 is going lower. Here you can see the situation where S&P 500 is going lower. We broke the horizontal support, dynamic support, another dynamic support breakout and the price is going lower yesterday the price was testing those supports as a resistance and test was positive for the sellers because the price bounced from this resistance and went lower now as we speak the price is making new midterm lows the situation is negative and it's uh, it's no longer a correction it looks like a reversal for now Australian dollar to Japanese yen is showing you a beauty of the price action called um, false breakout. So we had this symmetric triangle, the price broke the upper line of this triangle, which is supposed to give us a buy signal, but the price reversed. Here, when the price came back inside of this triangle, the false breakout was clear. So after you estimate the false breakout, you should go short and the price did go short. Beautiful. A selling opportunity now bitcoin uh, bitcoin touched 38.2 here touched levels above nine thousand dollars and then reversed now we broke the midterm up trend line we broke the horizontal support so it looks like a deeper correction for bitcoin and overall we are in positive territory but the short-term sentiment looks like the short-term short sentiment is rather negative now DAX, DAX broke this horizontal support it all started with the breakout of the long-term uptrend line here and the lower line of the symmetric triangle we broke it with a gap the price did not manage to close the gap went lower broke uh, important horizontal support on 11,800 points and now we are going lower a situation is as negative as on s p 500 so two major global indices so s p 500 and dax are going uh, lower well i say that dax is major indice well i'm looking from the euro point of view is is the most important index in europe um so yes that that's the situation right now uh on stocks on shares uh, it looks like the very beginning of a bear market new zealand dollar to canadian dollar this v-shape reversal is still strong we first stopped on 23.6 but it looks like price will eventually get to 38.2 which we anticipated so we are looking forward for a further upswing aiming 38.2 Fibonacci level which in the same time is a horizontal resistance created by this support I really think that the price will get there and any price bearish price action on this blue line will be a great invitation to go short now dollar index dollar index is still pushing higher and i think that this resistance can be called a broken one and uh, that's a breakout bounce now we are close to the long-term highs and it looks positive for the dollar now euro dollar where we tested the horizontal support again again we get a bounce this bounce is quite convincing let me show you an hourly chart v-shape reversal yesterday today we broke this 
Uh, so that's uh, pretty interesting because on the dollar index it still look good it still look positive but on the so it means the dollar should be stronger but on euro dollar it looks like dollar will be weaker in the next few maybe days maybe hours obviously you need to remember that today is the last day of uh, of trading this week and this month uh, but with this bounce from the horizontal support, it really looks optimistic for euro dollar. It looks like in the midterm we should see a further rise, a further upswing. Now, American dollar to Mexican peso. Interestingly, I looked at this instrument before it happened because I saw a nice symmetri uh, symmetric triangle. Uh, smaller symmetric triangle uh, here the price went higher and eventually broke this upper line of the triangle that's a buy signal American dollar is stronger Mexican peso is weaker so this is the current outlook on this instrument the price should continue to go up American dollar to Canadian dollar here also uh, actually I had the long position here it was close somewhere here unluckily uh, that would be uh, that would be a profit right now but well that's live that's trading so we had a rectangle the price had a false breakout below the lower line of the rectangle and then bounced and went higher now the price is aiming higher we are close uh, well we are on a long-term highs we are on the highest levels uh, since uh, the beginning of january soon maybe we'll be on the highest uh, levels in 2019 so the sentiment is definitely positive let me remind you where it all started uptrend line here inverse the shoulder pattern upswing uh, symmetric triangle upswing rectangle upswing very technical movements very technical movements apart from this but at some point false breakout is also a technical movement uh, so it was uh, unluckily for, for for those buyers or for those sellers who sold here or buyers who bought here and got stop loss uh, but still it's uh, it's uh, this what happened after the false breakout is a technical movement and now Australian dollar to American dollar here we had a breakout of the lower line of the pennant the price is lower but I think that the more uh, that the better formation here should be this uh, wedge and this uh, yeah let's say wedge the price should eventually break the upper line of this pattern but also in the same time we are in a symmetric triangle pattern uh, in the rectangle pattern so the price can go lower we'll see being inside of the rectangle is the worst place to trade uh, you should wait for the breakout of either the upper line or the lower line for trading american dollar to swiss franc did exactly precisely what was expected so downswing flag downswing flag downswing Right. Interestingly, this flag was also kind of a head and shoulder pattern, left shoulder, head and right shoulder. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. This support was pretty clear. One, two, three, four points of, of contact, then a breakout. And with this, the sentiment is negative. American dollar to Swiss franc should go lower. Uh, and you can see that the gravity of this major uptrend line is still working. And I'm telling this for a long time that we should get there uh, eventually and um, yes that's that's a good sell signal I think it is a good uh, a good uh, selling opportunity so let me go through those instruments again gold positive crude negative uh, S&P 500 negative DAX negative strand dollar Japanese yen negative Bitcoin short term negative New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar positive, dollar index positive, euro dollar positive, American dollar, Mexican peso positive, American dollar, Canadian dollar positive, Australian dollar, American dollar not known, and American dollar, Swiss franc, this is negative. So you can see this is the situation on the market right now, last day of the week, last day of this month. Uh, so pretty, a few interesting setups. Thanks very much.
for watching the daily analytical report i hope you enjoyed this and see you soon all the best